Office hours are officially open for this Texas professor, though it's not quite the traditional office or home of an academic. I can't say as a child when we were asked to write goals uh, that uh, I wrote down that I, I, I wanted to live in a dumpster. But he does now. Dr. Jeff Wilson, better known as Professor Dumpster, sold off the majority of his possessions for one dollar a piece. He now calls a 33 square foot dumpster on the Houston Tillotson University campus home. We want to teach issues around sustainability, STEM education, living on less to a much broader audience than you might just reach in one small environmental science class. Wilson sleeps, eats, and takes towel baths in his humble abode, roughly 1% the size of an average new home in this country. He filters water from a nearby lake and grows his own vegetables. But he still has to head out when nature calls. And I'm not going to lie, at first I thought, what's wrong with this dude? He's a PhD man. He wants to live in a dumpster. As part of the year-long experiment, the trash receptacle must be occupied every day, so students help take turns. He explained about the dumpster project, and I told him, that's, that's so weird that it's awesome. So I got right on board. Students will track the total energy, water, and waste throughout the three phases of the project. Phase one, camping, is nearing completion. Next up, studying the average American home, and the final phase, the Uber dumpster. Uh, it'll be a totally tricked out dumpster. It'll have solar panels, it will pop up, uh, it will have a low flow composting toilet, all of the very latest technology. What does his girlfriend think about it all? Yeah, there's no self-help manual for how to date a guy living in a dumpster. You know, I've looked, there's nothing. Unlike Oscar the Grouch, Professor Dumpster is quite happy living in his garbage can. Jill Craig, Associated Press, Austin, Texas.